So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the geography feature built into Excel to import information about countries and states. So in this first sheet, I've got the international spreadsheet set up here. I've got a list of all the countries here. So one thing worth mentioning here is that this option will not work if you do not have Office 365. Um, so you have to have Office 365 subscription in order to use the geography data. So in order to use that, uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and select um, my list of countries and then go to data and then click on this geography tab right here. You'll notice that um, it has converted the names of countries into spatial features. And now what I can do is I can go ahead and click on this insert data tab and I can select the amount of information I want to bring in. There's a lot that you can choose from, but for this example, we're just gonna go ahead and select the abbreviated name. Um, so that's that. We're gonna go ahead and bring in the population. So if we scroll down here, we will find a population. And we can also bring out, bring in the unemployment rate, which may be down here. And let's, let's also go ahead and bring in the biggest city. Oh, right here, largest city. Um, and then also bring in the area for these countries. So let me just also go ahead and bring in the area. Okay, one other important thing here to note is that the area that's represented here is in square kilometers and it's not square miles. But if you need to convert this area into um, square miles, no problem. We can just use the convert feature within Excel and we can say convert this number from, um, so this is in um, square kilometer. So this is, so convert from square kilometer two square miles and we will just do mile square and enter. So the area of the US is about 3.7 million um, square miles. So this will be your area within square miles. There you go. Okay, cool. So now let's move on to the United States tab. And here I've listed a couple of states where you can bring in information about these states. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, first, we will have to convert these states into a spatial feature. We'll follow the same method that we did for the previous sheet. We'll select them, go to uh, data, geography, and we are going to see that the spatial features um, are now intact. We will go ahead and open up this sheet and now we can go ahead and start bringing in uh, the abbreviation. Let's also go ahead and bring in the area for these states. Uh, let's bring in the largest city, the population. And um, now, um, all of the features that we selected are for a polygon. So think like the state of Florida is a polygon and you're bringing in features. You can't just simply bring in latitude and longitude data for a state, for the whole state. It's not, it's not possible. Um, however, the largest cities in the state of Florida are all points. So if you want to import lat long data, that would have to be um, for a city because that is a point data. So in order to bring in the lat long for the largest cities, what you would have to do is you would have to click here. And then um, let's go ahead and say, I want to import um, latitude. And I also want to bring in the longitude. Um, and you can just go ahead and copy that down here. And now you've got the lat longs for all of the cities within these states. So. Um, how can you use this information? So if you select the states and their population, you can go to insert and uh, just uh, click on maps. Uh, you can just go ahead and simply create a chart with um, all the, uh, with, with the population information that you've selected up here. You can do the same thing for area if you wanted to just see which one is the uh, largest or the smallest. Um, and uh, you can also just go ahead and change the theme up here to uh, meet the needs of your dashboard. So whatever color you feel um, it works for you, just go ahead and select that. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna map the lat long data. Okay, so, in, so now to import this lat long data, what we'll have to do is we'll have to select the lat long data, make sure you go to insert, and then now, um, instead of clicking maps, we are going to go ahead and click on uh, 3D maps right here. 
I already had a session open. I'm going to go ahead and just delete that and click on new tour. And let me just uh, resize this window a little bit. And you can see that we've got all of our point data mapped on the map right here. There are many options you can choose here. Um, you can go to a more of a flat map. Um, you can go, go ahead and turn on like map labels. Um, you can find a specific location. But the good thing is that you can use point data and you can easily map it on a map like so. So I hope that this uh, tutorial helped you a little bit. Um, so again, if you're looking for uh, geographic information and you're looking for some stats about the area, you don't have to dig around um, into Google to find that information. You can just simply use the geography tab and um, uh, built into Excel and import the geography information. Well, I hope you like this tutorial. Make sure you like and subscribe for more tutorials.